This is how to level up fast in GTA Online in the newest update. This is a list of methods, the best tips and tricks, some different modes to level up as fast as possible by gaining the most RP as you can to reach a high level. Welcome to the high stakes world of heists and missions in GTA 5 Online, where every move counts and the rewards are huge. Heists aren't just about the thrill of the chase or the clink of cash, they're your golden ticket to rising up the ranks. Think about the Pacific Standard job particularly, or the nerve wracking Doomsday heist. These are two great heists for RP. Now here's the kicker, it's not just about the money, every successful heist you do pumps up your RP meter, which pushes you up the ranks faster than a street racer on a nitro boost. And guess what, if you actually team up with friends, which you'll have to do inevitably for the heist anyway, the rewards also multiply too, so if you have more teammates, you'll get more RP points in turn. So don't be a lone wolf, dominate as a group and reap extra rewards and payouts. The Diamond Casino's lucky wheel is where dreams meet reality. The spot is where you spin your way to glory. But it's not just all about the bling or the high-end rides that you can actually win at the spot. No, 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 the lucky wheel is actually your secret weapon for racking up RP points like a boss. With a single spin, you could bag anywhere from 2,500 to a whopping 15k RP points. In the time that it takes to spin a wheel, you could climb the ranks faster than a rocket. And here's the best part, this is also a daily gig, so every day you have have a new chance to strike it big by spinning the wheel. Sure this one is more of a roll of the dice, but with a 25% chance of hitting those RP slots, the odds are pretty big in your favour, and let's face it, who doesn't love a lucky dip, especially when the stakes are this high. Next up we're dropping into the battlefield of adversary modes. Imagine an arena where strategy, skill and a little bit of swagger come together. This is the playground to earn RP and make a statement too. Think about specific modes in this collection like Deadline, where you're zipping around on a bike, leaving a trail of light, Tron style. It's not just fun, it's an RP goldmine. Even if you're not top dog in the race, the RP keeps on rolling in on this one. It's like a party, but instead of going home with the goodie bags, you're just pocketing chunks of reputation points. And then there's also Sumo, another mode where you're in a vehicular tug of war, pushing your opponents out of the ring. It's intense, it's thrilling, and oh boy does it shower you with RP too. The good thing about adversary modes though, is that they're quick, there's a variety of them, and they're an absolute blast to play, so it doesn't really feel like you're grinding just to level up. Buckle up speed demons because it's time to hit the track and blaze your path to hit it big on RP points. And racing in GTA is yet another express lane to ranking up too. Each race, each turn, each overtake is a chance to pocket some sweet sweet RP. So don't be ashamed to take those annoying slipstreams and drift on someone to win big. Now here's the best part though, even if you're not the first to hit the finish line, you're still winning. Every race completion fuels your RP tank. And also, let's talk about time trials. Time trials are not just your ordinary races though, they're a test of skill, speed and precision. And if you beat the clock, you're not just a winner, you could be an RP millionaire, there's an incentive for you there. And remember the criminal records race? This bad boy is the epitome of short and sweet. You basically zip around the Grand Sonora Desert and before you know it, you've racked up a pretty hefty amount of RP too. It's like hitting the jackpot but without the lucky wheel and you're just using your driving skills instead. Okay, so welcome now to the big leagues because this is where the stakes are high and the rewards get bigger. In the world of VIP and CEO work and the biker contract system, you're not just playing the game, you're running it. But there's a little added danger to make things a little tougher on you. Picture this, you, the boss, calling the shots, orchestrating high stakes operations across Los Santos. Whether it's securing contraband or making daring deliveries, each of these successful ventures not only lines your pocket with some cash but it also boosts your RP exponentially. But here's the real kicker though, the challenge. These tasks may give you good money and RP points but they're not really your typical run of the mill missions. They demand strategy, some grit and pure ruthlessness and it's better if you have some friends to back you up because a lot of players are going to be trying to kill you or take you out because it's basically like a war on the server. Especially when you have hackers running around, which GTA Online is infamous for. But the rewards? They sure are sweet if you can actually get around without dying. And we're talking truckloads of RP that's going to propel you through the ranks at breakneck speed. Now in survival mode, it's you against the world, or at least you in a group. 
You're basically alone against waves of enemies closing in on you and the tension rises and every takedown sends your RP soaring to the moon. This is a test of endurance that will reward you with a ticket to ranking up fast and furious style. In survival, teamwork is your lifeline. Every wave conquered on survival mode, every enemy vanquished pumps up the RP reserves. It's a relentless battle with phenomenal rewards to back it up. Not only do you rack up cash, but the RP gains in this mode are off the charts. But wait, there's a whole bunch of opportunities that strike during your cruises through Los Santos, things that just happen as you play. The free mode events are spontaneous, unpredictable, and oh so rewarding. Whether it's causing mayhem in criminal damage mode, or reigning supreme in king of the castle, these events are an impromptu playground for fast RP gains. Each event is a unique challenge in itself, a burst of adrenaline with a sweet reward of rep points. It's not just about being in the right place at the right time, it's about seizing the moment and turning chaos into your personal RP jackpot. And then of course we move on to the world of crews, which obviously we had to mention, where camaraderie meets strategy. Now joining a crew is the oldest trick in the book, but it's not just about making friends, it's about forming a powerhouse for RP domination. Crews are like your own GTA family, and together you take on challenges, smash goals and reap the rewards with your friends. Now even if you don't have any friends that are playing GTA, and you're playing solo mode, you can still join open crews or request an invite and just being part of a crew means more than just shared missions it's about collective triumph shared resources and that sweet sweet synergy that turns every mission or operation with crew members into an absolute rp goldmine crew events challenges and activities are the express way to leveling up and you're just missing out by not being in a crew so if you team up with some crew members on heist not just randomers then you're also going to get even more bonuses now here's a pro tip patience is more than just a virtue it's actually a strategy on gta when you're close to completing a job say like a mission or a race don't just rush to the finish line lingering in the activity until the last possible moment can actually amplify your rp gains significantly which not everybody knows about it's like slow cooking a gourmet meal the longer that you let it simmer the better it ends up. Each extra second you spend strategically within a job adds more flavour to your RP stew. So next time take a breath, enjoy the ride and watch your RP grow as you just play longer. Also you should just keep your eye out for the special double RP events. It's another jackpot in itself. These events are game changers and they turn normal actions into a colossal leap up the RP ladder. Imagine your usual heists, race or missions that you usually do but with an added twist. Everything that you do is worth twice as much as it is normally. And and it's the perfect time to go all out, push the limits and watch as your RP score doubles in record time. Now the best way to look out for these is just stay alert for Rockstar's announcements and particularly their emails and social media posts where they always warn you about the new events or holiday promotions that are going on. Then you can just dive into these events and get double those rewards. There was just a Halloween event recently before making this video and they had some RP promotions and I think they had double RP on it. So it's a regular occurrence if you play during the holidays or a different season throughout the year and they just regularly do double rp events if you make sure to be on the lookout so if you found these tips useful subscribe right now and smash the like button and if you have any questions or need any help or if you have any other methods to get rp that i didn't mention let me know in the comments below thanks for watching